Hello, this is Dr. Herbert Harrison. This is our success mentorship class 290, and this is our basic textbook for all that we do, the 12 Universal Laws of Success. And today we're talking a lot from one of our packages, one of our products, the Success Toolbox. And the purpose of the Success Toolbox is to give you everything you need to get anything you want. I love to begin our classes with a quote, and this is from Gary Blair, and he said something that I think is so apropos for today. He said, the perfect ending to any day, race, or project is to finish strong. I'm going to say that again. The perfect ending to any day, race, or project is to finish strong. And so this topic today, why must you close out this year strong? As I said earlier, I don't think I've ever done a title, a topic where I asked the question, why? <laughs> And, and uh, I have to tell you where this came from. I was doing an interview last week on Instagram with uh, Kenya, Kenya Crooks. And Kenya is a personal trainer, personal trainer to the stars, um, Tony Braxton, Candy Burris, many others. And I was asking Kendall, I said, Kendall, what is it that makes people go for their goals. I say, you know, when a person comes to you and says, listen, I want to lose. Hey, Kenya, thanks for joining us. And I'm just sharing that you are the reason for this talk. Why <laughs> must you close out this year strong? Kenya and I were talking. And I said, what is it that makes a person go for it? You know, when a person comes to you and says, Kenya, I want to lose 50 pounds, 60 pounds. I want to tone up. I want a six pack. You know, what is it that, that, makes them do it and he said I always have them find their why because the why is what keeps them doing the push-ups the why is what keeps them running around the gym the why is what makes them hang in there and after he said that I thought about that man if we look at the year you know we're we're now in in heading towards the fourth quarter of the year we have a little over 90 days left. And I was thinking everybody, well, most people should have some type of goals that they want to accomplish this year. When December 31st rolls around, what do you want to see yourself being? What do you want to see yourself doing? What do you want to see yourself having? I thought back on a story years ago, when after Kenya said that, uh, how powerful your why is. And it was a, a story about a, a lady who was the CEO of a multi-billion dollar corporation. And she had five kids and, you know, all those things that people say you can't do, she did. And she was being interviewed and uh, they asked, what was your motivation? You were a mom, a stay-at-home mom with five kids. What was your motivation to go back to college, to go to business school, to get into the corporate America, to work your way up? And so then 15 years now, you're CEO of a multi-billion dollar corporation. And she said, 15 years ago, I had five kids from three to 17. And my husband was going out to work. I was a stay-at-home mom. And I asked him for $10. And he looked at me and he said, what do you need $10 for? Now, a mom with five kids, <laughs> with three, okay, from three to 17. And she said at that moment, she made up her mind that never again would she ask anybody for anything. And that really resonated with something that Kenya said. He said, that when, when he asked the person, what is their why? Why do you want to lose the weight? Why do you want to get into this project? You know, it's going to be tough. He says, whatever their why is, it does not matter whether it's a big thing, you know, important. Their why may seem insignificant to you. But to that person, that why 
is what makes them fly. Dave smiles on the call today, Coach Smile, and we often say he's a great network marketing expert, and we often say, you hear people say, your why should make you cry. I say your why should make you fly. And so that topic now, translating that to today, where we're a little, I think we have about 105 days or so to the end of the year, but we basically have a little over 90 days to the end of the year. And so the question I ask each and every one of us is why must I close out this year strong? Why is it important that I get flat out right now, that I look down the road and I see I'm willing to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to get to this particular point, December 31st. We're not talking 10, December 31st, a little over 90 days from now. So what should I do? What is my why? What's the thing that should motivate me to get serious and to get busy? Well, number one is this, that where, wherever we are at the end of this year, on December 31st, is where we start next year. Thank you so much, Kenya, for the badge. We sure appreciate it on Instagram. Those of you who really love what we're saying, get a badge. We appreciate your support. Thank you. So we start next year wherever we end this year. And so if we don't do anything, if we just keep coasting along, then we'll start this year really where we are right now, really behind where we are right now. Because we live on the river of time. So even though we choose to do nothing to make this year our year for great success, the river of time is constantly moving. And so we can be losing out on things that we don't even know that exist. One thing I'll say this, if you don't close out strong, you will miss the time opportunity that the creator gives you. You know, today there are a lot of people who may hear this message today who may not be here at the end of the year. So if you're here at the end of the year, God has obviously given you the time to do something with. It's like the parable of the talents. The greatest talent that you can have is the talent of time. When we talk about gifts from the creator. So the fact that you're given these 90 days to do something. If you do nothing. If you do not close out strong. I guarantee you this. Next year you'll have regrets. If you do nothing next year this time. 90 days from the next year, the following year, you'll be having regrets. So if we look at where we are right now, we're, we're, we're in a Rolls Royce. You're going to choose to, to visualize, visualize. We're in a Rolls Royce sitting on the highway of life with the most powerful GPS waiting for us waiting to guide us wherever we want to go. Now, that has a profound implication. We have this vehicle, this, this creator-given vehicle on the road, the highway of life, and we have a choice. We can take control of our lives right now and rush to our destination or we can keep doing what we're doing and let the world take care of it for us wow. that's a profound choice folks that's a profound choice and it's a choice that's in your hands that you have the power to act on so what does it take <laughs> There are two questions when you have, when you're sitting there in your Rolls Royce on the highway of life, deciding how you're going to handle these next 90 days. You have to know where 
you want to go, and you have to know how to get there. Where you want to go, and how to get there. You know, in our success toolbox, there's a, a whole section there where we talk about the different types of goals that you have personal goals, family relationship goals, financial goals, professional goals, spiritual goals, community goals. But I challenge you right now, just look at the first three. What are your personal goals for December 31st of this year for the next 90 days? Your personal goals, your health goals, your weight goals, whatever those personal goals are, your relationship goals. Who do you choose to be around? What experiences do you have? Do you want to have? Your financial goals. Where will you be in your finances? Will you still have more month at the end of the money? If you don't know what those goals are, guess what? You'll never get there. You cannot hit a target you cannot see. And that is one of the reasons that the, the 12 universal laws of success is like the foundation for the success toolbox because you can go into this book now in chapter three where we talk about vision and learn that your goals, that wherever you want to be on December 31st, you have to have smart goals. They must be specific. Say, I want to be happy. That's a goal, but it's not a smart goal. What does happy mean? Is happy means you have money, you have good relationships, you have good health. So it must be specific. Your goal must be measurable. If you can't measure it, then you can't determine how quickly it's going to take to get there. When a person comes to Kenya, they don't come and say, Kenya, I want to lose some weight. <laughs> His question is, go, how many pounds? I don't know. Hmm. Think of something. Pick a number. No. It's got to be specific. And it's got to be measurable. It's got to be set in advance. Now, we're taking care of that for you. We're saying December 31st of this year is 90-some days from now. And that's set these goals right now for where you want to be December 31st. Mm -hmm. They must be realistic based on where you are. Now, this is a powerful concept, folks, because we can set goals that are unrealistic, and that way when we are unable to accomplish them, we get dis discouraged. So when a person comes into Kenya and says, Kenya, I want to lose 50 pounds by Tuesday, he's going to say, good luck, hang in there, and goodbye. <laughs> okay? That's not realistic at that point in time. It's not just impossible. Nothing is impossible. But say, I need to lose 50 pounds over the next six months. Now, that's doable. And then your goal must cover a certain time period. Now, we're taking care of that for you. <laughs> we're saying by December 31st of this year, what do you want to do? Where do you want to be? What, do you, what are your personal goals? Write them down. What are your relationship goals? Write them down. What are your financial goals? Write them down for this year. And those goals must be specific, measurable, set in advance, realistic, and cover a certain time period. So I, I say this to you. If you are serious about your life and the direction in which you're going, then you have to take control of the Rolls Royce that you're sitting in. And first, set some goals. So with that Rolls Royce, now you have the desk, you have the the GPS, and I'll call it the uh, they say the global positioning um, system. I'm calling it global positioning success. So you have your your you have your GPS. You program where you want to be in ninety days. Now that's a big step. If, if this call, this class today does nothing other than say to you, let me accomplish these three things. Tiffany, it's the distractions that will come. Yes, the distractions will come. 
And that's why you have to be so solidly on your goals, number one, but also the why behind your goals. Why do you need the money? Why do you need to have this particular financial goal? The why between behind the relationship. Why do you need to get this person out of your life? Why do you need to have somebody in your life who loves you and adores you? Why must you lose this weight? Why must you handle your health a little bit better? The why is what keeps you cooking. And so over these next 90 days, understanding that the why behind the goals you write, you are not able to get it done, to make it happen, and to achieve those goals. So now we've done with the why. Now, how do you do it? How will you go from where you are to the goals you want to accomplish? These three goals. And this is exactly why we created the Success Toolbox. And, and, and I'm telling you, everybody on here, everybody who hears this needs to get this. The reason we created the Success Toolbox was to give you everything you need in one place to get anything you want. So with the success toolbox, you can now take the tools in that box and take those goals that you want to accomplish by December 31st of this year, and you have everything you need to make it happen. You, of course, you have the 12 universal laws of success. The chapter on goal setting, chapter three, the chapter on action planning. Chapter seven, those two chapters found will, will form the foundation for what you have to do over the next 90 days. You have the audio book. You see, this, it, it, when we say finish strong, we mean full out attack, assault, to knock out the distractions, to do what must be done. And so you have the audio book so that while you're riding and driving in your car, you can be playing it and listening to those particular portions to help reprogram your mind. There's also uh, an audio contained in that package called the Law of Command. Because as you begin this 90-day journey, all kinds of things are going to block your way, step in your way, obstacles, people. But when you can listen to that audio we have on the Law of Command, it tells you reprogram your mind. Tell yourself what to think. Don't let people block your way. Reprogram your mind so that you are truly the captain of your ship and the master of your destiny. In that success toolbox is the home study course. We call it the new you. New you for a new year. And there are four parts in that course, and this is what is critical. If you want to create this December 31st that you see in your mind's eye, number one, course number one in that home study course, assess where you are. So you're in your Rolls Royce. You know where you want to go. The GPS requires one more thing. It requires your coordinates. It requires where you are. And so you set out to be honest with yourself, to assess your present situation, to look at the thoughts, the emotions, the habits, the relationships that you have right now, because whatever you're experiencing right now are the result of those things. And to look at them now and analyze them. Assess those situations and assess those things about yourself that you need to fix. Do your Ben Franklin method. All the good stuff you've done. Say there are only two things that happen. You either win or you learn. If you got more lessons, then you need to make a big change. If you got more Victories then just make some tweaks. But over these next 90 days, when you do that assessment, now you know what you have to do. Lesson two, make the changes necessary. Once you've assessed where you are right now, then make the changes necessary to take you where you want to go. So maybe you have to change that, that negative thinking to positive thinking. Change lack and limitation thinking to abundance thinking. Use that law of command to reprogram your mind. Go through the workbook in the, in the success toolbox. Ask some of those questions that will help you reprogram your mind to bring about the changes necessary to get you where you want to go. 
once you look at those changes that are necessary now, revisit your goals. That's why I say this is a, a recipe, folks. Revisit your goals. Now, when I asked you to write out your three goals, after you have assessed your situation and looked at the changes you need to make to bring those goals about, you may have to revise them a little bit. Maybe it's uh, unrealistic. You say, well, look, I know I need to need, but new lose 50 pounds, but if I can just lose 20 in three months, I'm well on my way. Well, so be it. Maybe you have to look at, at, at some of the relationships you have. You know, you can't go back to the same playground with the same playmates and the same play things. When you decide that you're going to make this thing happen and you're going to achieve those things on December 31st, there's some people you're going to have to limit access. Maybe even put them out your car. If they're in the car with you, you may have to put them out. There's some people you may have to pick up. But once you've understood all that, then now you can readjust your goals, your direction, and now you can make your plans. And you see, this should be done quickly. That's why I really, I'm hopping on this thing with the success toolbox, because I guarantee you that anybody who's up at eight o'clock this morning who's listening to my voice has got to be serious. Most people don't just wake up and get out of bed at eight o'clock and start listening to a message. So the fact that you're up at this time and listening to this message means that you're serious and I want to help you have all the tools. So once you've gotten your assessment, your, your changes and your new revised goals as quickly as possible, then you get into a total execution format. We're talking about a 90-day plan to get it done. So, for those who truly want to make that change, for those who are really serious about making December 31st their action day for accomplishing incredible things over these next 90 days, I say this. Number one, if you already have the success toolbox, write, put it to work. I know many of you are using it already, but if you already have it, send me an email, herbert at herbertharris.com and write your three goals to accomplish this year by December 31st. Write your personal goal, write your relationship goal, and write your financial goal. When I used to work for Reverend Ike, he used to always have people send him mail. You know, people talk badly about him, but he applied the science. He used to have people send them a letter. He'd send out and he'd say, write down your three desires, your good desires. Of course, he said, send money and send it back to me. And he said one day, he said, you know, people look at it like, oh, this is some kind of hocus pocus. He said, but the fact, he said, this is spiritually correct. The Habakkuk says, write the vision, make it plain upon tablets, that he may run that readeth it. Though it may tire, wait for it, it will surely come to pass. So just doing this act of writing, of sending it in, number one, writing it for yourself, but sending it in to me to confirm it. So write your three goals for this year, personal, relationship, financial, that you want to accomplish by December 31st. If you don't have your success toolbox, get one and send me. So go to our website, herbertharris.com, and click on the tab success toolbox. Get that, and then immediately write your three goals, personal, relationship, and financial, and send them to me at herbert at herbertharris.com. And when I get them, you know, a number of you, we're going to have some success consultations with you when you get the program. I want to, I really want to get with many of you so that we can say, hey, this may be a fit for you. I can give you some recommendations over these next 90 days, put you in a mastermind environment that over these next 90 days, you got support and somebody to lift you up and help you get there. So let's close out today. Why must you close out this year strong? Number one, 
because you begin next year where you end this year. So you want to end this year flat out as high and as successfully as possible. Number two, if you don't do it, you're going to have regrets. Number three, make a choice. You can do nothing and let the world guide you, or you can do something and go wherever you want to go, be wherever you want to be and have anything you desire. Remember, my goal is to help you go from where you are to where you want to be. But you have to know where you want to go. You have to visualize exactly the life that you want to experience on December 31st. And I can help you get there. Now, you can do it on your own. That may work fine. But I say this to you. If you're serious, get that success to your success toolbox. If you have it already, open it up. I know you're working with it. Send me the letter with your three goals for the year. Your relationship goals, your personal goals, your financial goals. Remember this, folks. You know, the success toolbox costs $47. You know, you can't even buy a pair of shoes for $47. But your why to close out this year strong must be strong enough to, to give you the strength to invest in yourself, invest $47, get the success toolbox, and you'll have everything you need to get everything you want. So this is Dr. Herbert Harris. I know I've been kind of preaching to you today, but I just feel so strong that this year, so many things are happening. There's so much uncertainty in the world that when you can have a clear path to run on, you're a whole lot better off than those who don't have one. So remember this, that when the why for closing out this year is strong, nothing is impossible. You can be what you want to be, do what you want to do, and have anything you desire, always knowing that the best is yet to come. Be sure to go to our website, get the success toolbox, go to herbertharris.com, www.herbertharris.com, click on success toolbox. Email me at herbert at herbertharris.com with your three goals for this year. And then let's get busy running together. All right, folks. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for all of you who contributed on Instagram. Thank you on Facebook for being a part of this. And those on our, on our Zoom call, on our mastermind call, hang in there. We'll have our discussion. So always remember, you can be what you want to be, do what you want to do, and have anything you desire, always knowing that the best is yet to come. And so it is.